Francis Pryor shifts the direction of his investigation. He thinks Otzi's slaughter may have more to do with the location of the body than the crime scene itself. Otzi was found in a place where the landscape suddenly changes. These areas are known as liminal zones and are associated throughout history with human sacrifice. He was found in a liminal zone. He was above the tree line in the snow, and that's where we do find sacrificial victims. From the dark pools of ancient peat bogs to frozen mountains at the heart of mighty empires, humans of all ages and social rank have been chosen as the ultimate sacrifice valuable offerings to wrathful gods. Did Otzi meet a similar end and become a human sacrifice on an icy glacier? Francis Pryor believes there is one more piece of vital evidence which will support his sacrificial theory. Near the bow, lying on a stone slab was one of the most precious archaeological finds ever made, Otzi's copper axe. The radiocarbon dates for Otzi came through, and there could be absolutely no arguing with them. This axe was 3300 BC, which shoved the appearance of copper back a full half millennium. Otzi's copper axe rewrites the history books, pushing the Copper Age back 500 years. Making this axe required enormous skill. In order to make copper, you've got to get temperatures in excess of 1,000 degrees centigrade. It's all about the control of heat. That is the key thing. Francis Pryor believes the axe is another clue supporting his idea that Otzi was a victim of ritual sacrifice. Smelting and casting copper over 5,000 years ago was seen as almost magical, a rare skill. This Neolithic axe was a diamond jewel of its day. Was it, like Otzi, a sacrificial gift to the gods. Had that been a vendetta, had that been a robbery, had that been a casual killing, you would not walk off and leave something as incredibly valuable as a copper axe lying there. 